This video is primarily for those that are already subscribers to my list and also uh, you who now want to join my list as well. So if you haven't already, you, there's a link below that you can go ahead and join, become a subscriber to my list. And uh, the reason I'm making this video is just to give you a heads up because I'm going to be giving away literally thousands of dollars worth of free stuff and I'm just going to be giving you so much value in this next while that uh, you'll be absolutely blown away by it. Um, in the realm of mind, body, spirit, um, you know, wealth creation, all sorts of things like that, all, all personal growth and development sort of based uh, stuff and products, things I've created over time. Um, but before I, I, I get into all that, and uh, I want to I tell you a story. I want to tell you a story which uh, was so impactful on my life, absolutely so impactful. It was, absolutely, it was an incredible thing that happened. It was really, really incredible. Um, and well, what, what, what happened was I was about 10 years old. And that, that sort of age, I was very much sort of egocentric, you know. I was very much kind of into, you know, what can I get out of life? You know, what, what, can, I, what can I get? Like, like, a, like a lot of kids are, you know, not, not all kids. You know, some kids are brought up different and just are different. But I was just a, I was a get kind of a kid, you know. And uh, I, I was kind of rebel rebellious as well. And this was back when I was about 10 years old. It was when the whole uh, Ethiopian... Uh, fundraising appeal was going on, you know, and uh, and you know I, I I did I did see that what was going on. I I did have some sort of empathy for it, but but I, it didn't seem like there was anything to do with me at the time, you know. And I remember a teacher said we're doing a big school fundraise. She said, look, you know, tomorrow if you don't bring in, you know, break open your piggy bank, uh, ask your parents whatever, bring in as much money as you can. We're going to give money to this this, this appeal, and. Uh, and I, like I said, I was kind of rebellious. I didn't like being told what to do or, or requested, things like that. So, so I was like, well, I'm not bringing in any, any money because, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's not to do with me. And I just don't like being asked. If I want to give something, I'll give it without being forced to by a teacher, you know. So that was my kind of attitude at the time. And uh, so I remember the next day, you know, going to school. I remember on the way to school, I found a, a one penny, like one peseta. I found a one peseta on, on, the, on, the, on the ground. I thought, okay, I'll bring that in, right? And uh, so I went in, and everybody else had, you know, I seemed to be like, whatever, 500 pesetas, some people 1,000 pesetas, 200 pesetas, whatever. Every, everyone had something, generally, that was given to them by their parents just to bring in, right? I didn't even tell my parents about it, you know? And so I bought this one peseta in, and I went up to the teacher thinking, right, I'm going to give her this one peseta. And, uh, you know, I, 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 when I gave it to her, I thought she was just going to, Say you know Matthew, is that is that what you can give you know um, and, and give me some sort of lecture or something, um, but but she didn't. I, I gave her the one to say that and, and she uh, she surprised me. It shocked me. It kind of took me by surprise because she said, "Oh, that's wonderful. You know, every, every every little helps, no matter what it is. Thank you very much." And it kind of kind of caught me off guard a bit. Anyway, because I was expecting a different reaction. And then there's this other kid in the class. Um, this other kid was. He was this like wild kid that everybody picked on. He had this like wild hair. He always had a snotty nose. He had this really crazy temper. So we used to like, like to pick on him and just kind of prod him and get him riled up. And then he'd lose his temper and go totally berserk. And we find it really funny, you know. So he, he was that kind of kid anyway. And, uh, and he bought in every single bit of his savings from the, the, the summer job he had had. He had had a job in the summer packing uh, people's shopping bags in the local supermarket and he'd work there all summer uh, while everyone else was at the beach and playing and all those sorts of things. He'd worked there and he'd built up like six and a half thousand pesetas, which at 10 years old back in the mid 80s was a fortune. I'd, I'd never had that amount of money in my hands ever. And he bought his whole savings in and he gave the whole lot over without anyone telling him to or expecting it of him or anything. Put the whole lot in and just gave it. So that's what I'm giving. And everybody was blown away. Everyone was like, oh my God, he's giving it. Like, and it was a, it just went like wildfire around the school. Next morning in assembly, the headmaster talks about him, gets him to stand up and everything, points them out, what an example he is and all this sort of stuff. And, uh, and something shifted in him from that experience. And I remember it. I remember, wow, I, I was incredibly impressed. I just couldn't comprehend it at the time. Why he would just give so much, you know? And I still don't know why, you know, what was his driving force at that time to do that. I, I still don't know. But what, what actually happened then was his, his mother liked to move around and they moved away for a year. And I, I didn't see him. He, he was gone for the whole next school year. 
And then he came back. And when he came back, he was a completely different person. He was a completely changed kid. He was no longer the wild uh, kid with a snotty nose. Suddenly he, he, he had his hair all slick back, gel back, and he was the cool kid. He was dressed differently, he held himself differently, he had uh, confidence, he had a, a presence about him. He had a different identity. And I remember the transformation was absolutely incredible, like really incredible. But at the time I thought it, it must have been that, that thing, it must have been because he gave that money and I, I was, I did, at the time I didn't know why, I thought maybe, maybe like, you know, because he did that thing God, you know, did some favours for him, you know, and just, you know, did this to him, you know. And looking back now I'm thinking, you know, it just must have, from a psychological point of view, he was just given a different identity, a different self-image. You know, when, when, that, when the headmaster made him stood, stand up in assembly and just told him how, edified him like that, told him how amazing he was. It changed his whole self-image, his whole identity of who, who he actually was. And so in that year, that, that transformation would have happened, when he came back, he was only the coolest kid in the class. Everybody wanted to be his friend. All the girls liked him. He was like the most popular of the girls as well. And, and I started hanging out with him then. Before that, I was picking on him, you know. Not proud of that, but I was. And uh, so, so anyway, that planted a very powerful seed for me. Where I, I realised the that giving is a great thing, that the power of contribution, not, not just that we can get something back from it, but how it really does help, and it really does have a ripple, and how it can transform us and transform others as well. And that what, what we get back might not be from the person that we give to either. Because, you know, what, what can those uh, you know, kids and whoever in Africa do, do for him? But he got back in a different way, in some other way, by, by changing his personality, changing his identity, a change in you know, how the people around him saw him, you know. Um, and he probably did it without any thought of that anyway. So that, that's a very powerful example of, of the power of giving. And it's so important because what I see is, is a lot of people, and they go into business for themselves or they start something on, online or whatever, and they're just thinking about getting. This one, this one to get. You know, how can I get? How can I get? How can I get? But what they're missing out is this very, very important law of nature. And it's, it's about giving. It's about giving and receiving, giving and receiving. That, that's the law of prosperity, right? Prosperity is, is founded in that, and founded in that, that the ebb and flow, the giving and receiving, you know? The wave goes in, it comes back out again. You know, that, that, that is prosperity. And that, that's how it happens. Um, I, I'm really not one for being altruistic. I'm, I'm not so altruistic because, because I believe that if whatever we give, we get back. Whatever we give, we get back. And with that, with that belief, it allows us to have a more of an abundant mindset. It allows us to have less of that lack mentality where we feel like we have to keep something for ourselves, you know. Especially with information. I, I, I will just keep, keep giving and keep giving and keep giving as much knowledge and information as, as I have because, because I understand that the, the universe abhors a vacuum. And whenever I give something out, it opens up a space and the universe dumps more information, more knowledge, more wisdom in, into my system. So I can just give more. It's just, just, just this flow, you know? And so, with this understanding, that's why I want to be that example now. The same way that that kid in my class was that example. Of just giving, and just giving, and just giving. And so that's why, um, if, if you are on my list, or you're about to join my list right now, um, you're going to get a lot of stuff from me. You're probably going to get an email every day, and I'm going to be giving you something, so, something of value, whether it be a product that I've sold for hundreds of dollars in the past, or whether it will be just just one simple tip and you know affirmation and, and a little story or whatever. There's going to be something that you're going to be getting from me every single day. I, I that's, that's my my aim anyway to give you something every single day. So it's it's a really good idea to be on my list because, uh, on my, my mailing list because probably you're not, there's no one else going to be doing this, going to be giving as much value as me, I don't think, I hope there is, but it's not what I get anyway from all the people I'm subscribed to. So I'm going to be giving more than you could possibly expect and, uh, and so that's why I just want to make this video, let you know, so it's a good idea to be on my mailing list so you get the stuff, right? So put me just giving all this stuff to five people or a hundred people or a thousand people, I'd like to give it to a hundred thousand people. So if you be one of those one hundred thousand people and you can get it, and that's the great thing about the digital age, 
that I can give to as many people as possible and uh, it's just going to keep flowing. It's just going to keep flowing and it's going to create a ripple effect and maybe you want to share it with other people and things like that. And it's all great, you know. It's, it's Christmas time now so in, in that feeling of, of prosperity, of, of abundance, of giving, of, of generosity, that, that's, the, that's the spirit of right now and that's the spirit of every single day. I choose to have a generosity of spirit, a generosity, of, a grand generosity of spirit and that's how I choose to live my life from now on. That is my commitment to you and that is my commitment to myself. So thank you very much for watching this video. Remember, if you haven't already done so, click on the link below um, and uh, you get, get subscribed and then you'll be receiving emails and there'll be some really interesting stuff in there, some stuff that you've never seen before and um, some quirky stuff and all sorts of stuff. So make sure you're receiving those. Uh, thank you very much. I very much appreciate you. See you soon.